<laughs> so this is how to complete your capstone to unlock tier three. You're gonna go through and slay the Atomus carriers uh, for the purpose of XP for my partner in crime. I am just killing everything along the way. A nice fun fact is it doesn't matter what level you are, the gear that drops in here does have a maximum cap of the 40 range. So if you want to help a buddy that was softcore or lost a character in hardcore, you can instantly pick up every piece of loot and drop it for them at the end of the event. So as they're leveling up while you're clearing everything for them, you can in fact give them some starter gear. Most of the people we have coming over have either lost a hardcore character or uh, managed to get level 100 on a softcore character and wanted to come back to hardcore. So we're just helping them through the capstone. It's a very easy and simple thing to do. And if you want to do it for any of your friends is all you need to in fact do is have them do world tier two, invite them to the party, and then the capstone is available on the map. You don't have to in fact get them to level 50 or within range for them to activate the capstone quest so long as they have completed the campaign. If they have not completed the campaign, they have to complete the campaign in order to unlock the ability to do Capstone, which becomes available after Act 6. So we're just going through all the halls. That's the door we need to get through. There's two more Atomus Slayers we actually need to kill. Should be one down this way. There he is. And then there will be one around the corner. Doesn't matter which direction you go because it does in fact turn into a giant loop. And like I said, I'm just Full clearing all the mobs to ensure he gets the most XP he can get. There's our last carrier. And now we can go to the next level. Everything is slain here. Now we'll run back to our waypoint. Turn in. And this one, there's no real objective at this point, but like I said, we are just full clearing for maximum XP. Anybody that is over the level 50 cap can help other players get through their capstone. It has a maximum level cap in here, so there's nothing too worried about. If you are confident with your build, there's nothing to worry about. If you need some help, pretty sure most of you should have some friends that are willing to help you out. But if not, let me know in the comments below. And if you're hardcore or softcore, I have characters on both realms and I can take you through your capstone as well. Now, the next point is going to end up being a little mini boss fight, and then you proceed to go 
into the next round which is going to be a slay all enemies but you come through and kill the first one you want to kill is the physician at this level basically killed them all but if you don't kill the physician first if you're struggling the physician will bring the other ones back to life so take out the physician first at my level it doesn't really matter and now we're at the slay all enemies objective pretty self-explanatory kill all the enemies and then go kill the boss and that will complete the capstone once you have officially slain everything and taken down the boss So as you can see, his R ready just been He has gained four levels so far. And you typically can go from one to twenty by clearing all your capstones. Fairly easy. You craft a potion if it is available for you because the first weak iron potion does unlock at level 5 and it can help you boosting while they just stand at the door awaiting the clear. Uh, my buddy had already taken the time to run around and level his character to 5. So I gave him a little bit of a head start just so he could put some more abilities in. He also has gotten max renowned on his character on softcore. So he was able to in fact start off with some paragon points and some skill points from his added renowned. We're just kind of picking up everything. Legendaries are bound to you, so you cannot drop them any legendaries, which the legendaries I have in my inventory were from an event I did earlier. Just didn't have time to get rid of them. As you can see, only two enemies remain. Or, sorry, six enemies remain all right in this little corridor. And now it allows me to go to the chamber where the boss is at. So we'll just run in. Our cooldowns are resetting with no passive active. So that's fine. We'll come in here, wait for him to come up. And... That should just take out his armor. One more trample ought to finish him off. And there you go. First capstone to unlock tier three is complete. I will just teleport out. They can walk out and go ahead and head to the statue. And then you have your party member run to the statue, you run to the statue so they can complete their quest line for world tier two. But that is how you complete your world tier capstone into getting to tier three. He managed to get five levels off of that. Did you interact with the statue? And now tier three is now unlocked. As you can see, torment four is still locked for him, but that is how we 
completed the capstone for somebody that is not level 50. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.